go ahead and get the app from the website. There's a 14 day free trial. Give it a shot. You can use it to back up your phone or transfer files. Whatever you need to do, this app will work for you. And if you need any help, I'll be standing by to answer questions or if you need help on how to use the application. So definitely give it a shot if you're interested in it. Uh, go ahead, grab it, and let's follow along because the majority of the video after this will be dedicated to how to use the application because I do want to show you guys how to use it because I think you'll enjoy it. In the past, everybody used iTunes and that was really hard to use. It was a disaster. Most people didn't like it. And actually about six months ago, Apple stopped supporting iTunes. If you want to back up your iPhone, if you want to move photos back and forth or videos, or you want to back up a piece of software on your actual iPhone, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. So why would anybody use this particular iPhone manager? Well, the thing is, it's pretty robust, it's easy to use, and it does come with all the features that you need in managing your iPhone. Like a lot of people always tell me, I want to back up my texts, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my text messages, that kind of thing. This iPhone manager can back up your texts. It's substantially faster than uploading to the cloud and then re-downloading your iPhone through the cloud, which is what most people do these days. But what it does is it backs up everything that's on your phone to your computer, and then you can restore it from your computer back onto your iPhone. And the beauty of it is that it's much, much faster. You're looking at anywhere from four to 10 times faster because transferring everything online takes forever. And uh, sometimes it just doesn't work. Plus you have to pay for iCloud storage. Most people don't wanna do that. Usually you don't have enough iCloud storage. That's another issue. So there's photo transfer for a music transfer video and there's a backup and restore button. We got data security so you can encrypt files, you can manage your contacts, podcast books, voice apps, SMS, calendar bookmarks, and you can access it like a flash drive. So first we're going to start off with backup and restore because this is one of the main ones people are going to be using. We want to create a complete backup and then restore it on a new phone. So first we're going to click on the backup your phone tab. You have the option to encrypt your data if you want. And what it does is it puts a password on it and then forced to use the application like DearMob to decrypt it. But uh, for this experiment, I don't think it's necessarily needed. So let's go ahead and back it up. You get a warning that the backup may take 15 to 25 minutes. Okay, click okay, and then the backup starts. So it really depends on how large your backup will be. My backup was pretty large, it did take about 10 minutes, so it made a 41 gig file. Then when you're ready to restore it on your new phone, plug your new phone in and click the restore backup files and you'll see the various backups that you've created. And here you can select it and then click the restore now button at the very bottom in the middle there and it'll go ahead and restore everything for you and that is how easy it is to do a backup and fully restore. When it comes to photo transfer, it's essentially the same thing. Click on the photo transfer button, plug your device in, and decide whether you're going to be taking photos off of your device or putting photos onto your device. So right now, these are photos that are on my device. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off of my device. And once I've selected a few, I can click export. Make sure you click on export HEIC to JPG and not the other one because like I just did it wrong and you can see that I can't access these files because I don't have the correct app to open them so I'll get an error message so when exporting make sure you select that second option uh, to do it properly otherwise it just won't work see export to HEIC JPG and now it worked and you can see my files appeared and I can now utilize them if you're trying to bring photos to the phone Instead of clicking the export button, you'll click the import button, and then you'll select whichever one you want to bring to your device. They have a couple different sections like selfies, portraits, recently deleted, and screenshots. This is kind of cool because it knows which camera you use for selfie shots. The music manager operates in a similar fashion. You can import music or you can export music. If you click the add music button, that allows you to import a music file so here I have a file I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna import it and uh, once I've added it to the list there's a, a button 
to finalize everything is called sync. The bottom right hand corner that you click sync and then it synchronizes the data. So usually you will input changes you want and then you push the sync button to apply those changes. And now that file has been added. Again, and if I want to delete the music, I can delete it or I can import it or export it. It's really up to you how you go about doing it. The video and movies tab operates in a similar fashion as the photos tab. Select the ones you want, push the export button if you're trying to bring them to your desktop or your PC, and then if you want to bring them to your phone, you, you'll click on the add video button. So here I did the export and I've exported my file. And then here, this is where my file is located. I can double click on it and then I can uh, listen to it or view it. So it looks like the uh, export was done properly and it does work. Awesome. You also have options to do select all. And this, th this is probably the way you want to go about backing things up if you want to ensure that you don't miss anything. Personally, I have backed up all my files already, so I don't need to do that. But it's really up to you and how you want to go about doing it. If you guys have questions, leave a comment below and I'll definitely answer them. We can also drag and drop videos directly to the program and it'll ask us what, you, what we want to do with them. And once we drop them in here like that, some need to be converted because they don't, they're not the right file type, while others don't really matter. So the one on the right, I click convert and now it's converting. It does take a little while, like maybe four or five minutes. The one on the left doesn't require any conversion. And when I'm ready, I can click sync and then I'll actually do all the work for us. Keep in mind, this does take a little while, so be patient. If you push the arrow at the top left, it actually cancels out that file, so it removes it from the queue. Oftentimes, you cannot access your messaging tab unless you've done a full backup. So do a full backup first. So here we are. We can click export on the one that we selected and we can export it to desktop. It'll open up a PDF and we can view it. It'll have the text, it'll have the images in there, all in there. So you do have a complete backup of all your text messages. In this next messaging backup file, I showed uh, my brother how to build a PC. And this was like a really small one. It's about the height of a Coke can. Pretty cool little device. So it looks like my messages are backed up successfully, which is nice. If you want to only back up your contacts and nothing else, you can create a thing called a V card. So simply select the person you want to back up or click select all, and you can back up all of your contacts and it will create a V card that your, your phone should be able to interface with. You can also import contacts as well if you're trying to bring contacts to your phone. And there's a few other buttons like delete and edit. So we've exported our contact and you can see it's called a V card. You can actually open up a file that'll show all the information. However, we don't really need that. Oftentimes people tend to have a lot of duplicates in their contacts. Later on, I'll show you guys how to remove all that. What's interesting is after I imported the contact, it fixed a field under home pages. It used to, the title of it is used to be null. Now it says home page, kind of an interesting little thing. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to delete a duplicate. So you can click on the delete button. All right, let's see how to edit it. Select the one that you want and you can click edit. So if you wanna add a specific field or add information like an address, you can definitely do that. So let's see here under the department, I could type something or I can add a URL. You can add any field that you normally would be able to add on the actual phone, but on the PC, which is kind of cool. So here I'm inputting a fake address. All right, awesome. And then when you're ready, push the sync button and it will apply the changes. Okay, changes have been applied. All right, so one thing to note is sometimes it does take a little while. If it takes longer than five minutes to sync a contact, then I think there's some kind of problem, which means you will have to restart the application. Keep your eyes out for the application freezing. If it freezes, just restart it. So here I'm trying again. I inputted some information, click save, and then we're gonna to try to do a sync. So you'll see how long a normal sync should take. It's really about 10 seconds, all right? And there's a, there's a warning on the top right that says merge contacts. A section warning you that you have 32 duplicate contacts. You could click merge all and then it'll delete the duplicates. What's interesting is I had no idea I had this many. I figured there was some, but I also figured that because they have different phone numbers, 
that it would somehow not be considered a duplicate. But I think what it's saying is it can merge all the relevant information into one and then that way you don't have to have so many different ones. So it actually can save you a lot of time. The backup that's really important to me is the voice memos backup. So I've been recording my voice and uh, conversations that I've had with people for many years now. And what I can do is I can completely back all those up and I've exported them to my desktop here and I can now listen to them, which is pretty cool. So in this one here, I'm talking with my brother about his little synthesizer. That reason are the people that designed this effect. So it's designed to be very versatile, but give you control. So like the syringe and this knob changes the feedback of the feedback, but they've curated and picked out all the controls that are really good together. And so they've kind of designed the interface around what they think is really, really good. There's many other kinds of echoes out there, but this is with their own flavor of it. So it's much it'll keep playing. So. Check this out. If you decide you want to clean out all your apps really quickly, you can plug it in and click on the app management button. This will allow you to delete applications. So if you want to delete more than one app quickly, you can definitely do that. Select the ones you don't want and then mark them for deletion and then press sync. All right, and they're deleted. It's as simple as that. All right, so what do I actually think about this application? Well. It works pretty good. There are a few times where it can freeze up, so you do have to sometimes restart the request by closing out the application, but the application is free and it works really well. So that I, I gotta give them props. At least they make it easy on like iTunes. So if you guys that have ever been wondering about whether you should try a different application, I would say just give it a shot. You have really nothing to lose. I looked over the privacy policy. It doesn't seem like they're doing anything too crazy. And um, yeah, the application works. If you guys have any questions about how to get a specific task done, don't hesitate. Just leave a comment below and I am replying to all comments and willing to help out. I even provide you some tech support if you do have questions. So uh, definitely reach out if you want to and I hope to see you in the next video. All right, see you later guys. Cheers.